Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 97 on SO exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as a mere template, let's just dive right in. So they say, determine the exit value of the sum of the squares. So it's T1 squared, the sum of the squares, right? Of t1 and t2 so this is what we're looking for and we know i'm going to look, draw a little graph here and i'm going to let this be t1 and i'm going to let this be t2 and then it is bounded between 0 and l and t1 is less than t2 so this is the line t1 is less than t2 i'm going to pick like a random point here like this is going to be like one zero right one zero so is one less than zero no so it must be this area right here but the biggest number it could be is L, right? L. L. The probability distribution function is equal to 1 over area of this square. So then the area is going to be 1 half, right? 1 half base, which is L, times height, which is L. So then this is equal to L squared over 2 is the area. So then the probability function T1, T2 is going to be equal to 2 over L squared. And we're actually asked to find expected value, so we know the expected value of t1 squared plus t2 squared is equal to t1 squared plus t2 squared. This thing times the probability function of t1 and t2 integrated over the whole interval. So then this is going to be equal to 2 over L squared times t1 squared plus t2 squared. And I'm going to integrate in respect to d T, t1 first. So if I integrate respect to t1, it's going to go from 0 to this line, right, to t2, and then it's integrating from 0 to l. 0 to l. Okay, so then taking that um, derivative in respect to t1, the 2 over l squared is just constant. I'm going to throw that outside. So then this will be equal to t1 cubed 1 third plus t2 squared times t1, integrating from 0 to t2 for t1. Okay, so plugging in those values, you get 2 over l squared, 0 to l, 1 third t1, that's going to be t squared, right? For the upper limit, t squared cubed, plus right here, if I plug in upper limit, you get t squared cubed as well. Minus the lower limits are just going to give you zero, so this is what we get. Integrating with respect to d t2. Ooh, baby. So then this one will be just t squared to the fourth over 12 plus t2 to the fourth as well over 1 fourth, integrating from zero to l. The lower limit is going to give you zero, so this is left with 1 12 l fourth plus 1 fourth l fourth times 2 over L squared, so this is equal to 2 over L fourth over 3 L squared, so then this is equal to 2 third times L squared, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!